The align projection is activated by clicking this button. It will also give you a bit projection which we'll turn off for this example. The align projection is a two turn solution. You have the option of using one or two targets. However, all of the magic is really happening before that first target. Here's how it works. I'm going to designate this landing target as the first target. And then I'm going to turn on the projection. Notice that it will hit my target at the exact inclination in azimuth that I told it to, which is 2.28 and 86.85 degrees azimuth. If I were to change this inclination, for example, to 75 degrees and then hit calculate, the projection would then strike the center of my target at 75 degrees inclination. If I wanted to change the azimuth, I can change the azimuth and it would do exactly what I wanted it to do at that target. If you'll notice in this particular example, there is a straight tangent section in my projection. If I wanted a continuous build, I would need to select this option, which is set DLS1 to equal DLS2. What this will do is create a curve that has a continuous build all the way to the target. So let's use a more realistic example here. Let's say that we're trying to get to this target right here. First of all, I need to designate this target. This target's called begin hold. So up here, I'm going to select begin hold as my first target. And then I'm going to turn on the projection. In order for me to get less of a curve here, I'm going to need to tell it to hit this target at a more relaxed inclination. So here, I'll put in a smaller and smaller inclination until I get something that I want. I could also go into the proposal mode and see what my exact inclination in azimuth is at this point, which is 35.4 and 252.41, which I will type into here and then hit calculate. Now I'm actually going to get an exact alignment with my plan hitting this target. Another thing I can do is use two targets. So since I have a kickoff point and a target here, what I can actually do is designate my KOP1 target as my first target and then my begin hold as my second target and then I have to select line up to hit second target and extend to second target. When I hit calculate, what will happen is all of the building will happen before the target but it'll figure out what I need to be at at the first target so that all it has to do is go straight to hit the second target. Therefore, my inclination and in azimuth at first target is taken out of my hands. The program does that for me. Here you can see that once it hits the first target, it actually extends for 433.5 feet after the first target to hit the second one. I can also put in an extension before so that there is a straight tangent prior to hitting that first target.